So what a wonderful week we have had. Uh, and now we come to the end and we only have left the closing ceremony. Uh, the closing ceremony has an, a number of very interesting and informative presentations that will happen here. And uh, the first one, uh, as tradition has it, uh, Eurovis is awarding its best paper awards uh, during a session. Uh, but for Eurographics, uh, the assessment of the papers takes place during the week. And therefore, the best papers are awarded in the closing session. So uh, with that, I would like to hand over uh, to Marco Torini, who is the chairman of the Günther Endele Best Paper Award for Eurographics, uh, to tell us about the work of the committee and also award the best paper. So Marco, over to you. Thank you. So here we are, as, as it was announced uh, yesterday, next slide. Yesterday we uh, showed the, the nominations for the best paper award. And, and today we are going to uh, actually announce, before we go to that, um, let me remind you that you can still see yesterday's session uh, and see a rerun of all the, of all the four paper that's been selected with get forth for this for this plan. And so uh, first of all, let me let me thank you the, the sponsor. Next slide. NVIDIA, who's providing for the monetary award as well as for many other things. And what the award paper will the, the, the authors of the award paper will receive will be of course visibility and also a, a very important recognition that has that has been uh, given to paper that has been really really influential in insight so uh, the, the 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 criteria that we use to select one next slide have been uh, the clearly the technical merit the significance both uh, in the practical point of view or for future work for future for future research we also cared about how well written the paper was and also it was also important how well delivered it has been for the audience of of, of eurographics and and egv and also it was very important we regard the committee uh, regarded as very important the the availability of code and data this cannot be stressed enough one of the one of the reasons why the world exists is to say thank you to the people that actually uh, share the the research result in term of in term of usable code and usable data i also want to thank the the rest of the committee who was undisclosed next slide it's an international committee that covers um, uh, many, many countries and also um, and the, the, the also many many fields. They they work furiously these days. And that out of the way, without further ado, uh, and well, with them yet yeah, only one other thank you by to Nvidia again. Next slide. Without further ado, next slide again. Uh, the, the, the paper that received, that received the award this year will be the subdivision, the subdivision specialized linear algebra kernel of static and dynamic connectivity setting on the GPU. And we are proud to give this award to Daniel Mkhar, Martin Winter, Pascal Stadbord, Hans Peter Seidel, Mark Steinberg, and Rahel Zayer. I probably mispronounced each name. Uh, let me read in the next slide the justification for this award. We have been impressed as a, as a committee uh, and with, with judge that this work advances the state of the art in one of the oldest yet most important, still most important structure in computer graphics, which are subdivision surfaces. And this, is, this work is, is likely to be integrated and, and for, for the best in many future applications in the field and research work. Even more importantly, we are recognizing that this work contains 
something that is more widely applicable than this specific case, and specifically a new clever way to parallelize computation for dynamic system, which are sparse. The, the stress here that not only they're sparse, but the, the connectivity structure is dynamic. And this is, we, we think that this will be, uh, will be key in many future applications in many different areas of computer graphics, especially geometry processing. So congratulations to the authors for this very well-deserved award. And also, well, and this, and, this is, and this is it. Except let me mention the mentions, the honorable mentions. We identified so, another three works that were, uh, that are definitely worth mentioning in this, in this, uh, in this program, this award program. And these are given in no particular order. Actually, the order is the submission order, so it's totally irrelevant. The, the first one that I want to mention is the combinatorial, that we want to mention as a committee, is the combinatorial construction of seamless parametric domain. And the, the next slide shows the actual, the actual award. Uh, if you're looking at this video in, in, as a rerun, uh, as opposed to live, feel free to post the video and read the motivation. The next one that, that, that we want to mention, which was nominated, is this other work on rendering. This is titled An Efficient Trans Transport Estimator for Complex Layered Material, also an outstanding work, and also a work which, which we believe will be, will be deeply influential in the future. The next slide shows the, the award itself. Only our signature is missing. And again, maybe pause this video if, 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 you, if it's not live and read the, the, read the justification. And last but not least, this beautiful piece of work about how to go from speech to pause, style controllable speech driven just analysis using normalizing, normalizing flow. And again, I mean, the, this, we, we want to, to mention, to honorably mention this, this paper for, for its potential impact. And with that, I'm done. Thank you again to everybody. And I'll go back to, to the rest of the final ceremony. Great. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Marco. Um, uh, we, of course, wish that all the recipients could have been here to receive their certificates in real life, but uh, that will have to be postponed and uh, emailed and uh, sent out uh, to all the recipients. Congratulations uh, to all the recipients, uh, honorable mentioning and best paper award. Uh, I would like to just go back and uh, as a part of the clo closing ceremony, just mention a few words about the place where we have been sitting. Uh, for one week, uh, our small town in the middle of nowhere in Sweden has been the center of visualization and graphics universe. And we have been very, very proud to host this conference here. It's been a challenge, but it's also been very rewarding for us. So, and your challenge is, as I always say, to pronounce the name of this place, Norrköping, uh, in at Linköping University in the region of Östergötland. So there you have all the umlauts and the sh sounds that we have in, in Swedish. Um, also, the place where we have been sitting, uh, for those of you who have not been here, um, we wanted to be at the, at the conference venue. We have our Linköping University, uh, and there are some beautiful pictures. This is actually the way it looks right now, this time of year, outside here. And there was a, a, an article in the newspaper, the local newspaper yesterday, uh, really emphasizing how much Norrköping would have liked to have a thousand world leading researchers on site uh, for a full week and that would have meant so much for us for the university and for our city so we hope that we can host a similar event sometime in the future and of course we are now sitting right uh, up on the left hand side of this map uh, all of us where we have the EGEV newscast studio at the Norrköping visualization center as well and of course, our Dome Theatre will be waiting for anyone who wants to come and visit us in the near future and experience 
uh, some of the things that some of you saw in the late night space shows that we had from here, experiencing that in our dome theater is spectacular. You're more than welcome to join us here. I should also again thank our sponsors that have really made it possible for us that stayed with us during these difficult times. Uh, Visual Sweden, Eurographics, Linköping University, uh, Vidya, Intel, Rikon, the Swedish Foundation for Strategic Research, KAUST, and the Ski Institute. Thank you very much for your generous support uh, for this uh, conference. With that, I would like to hand over to uh, the general co-chair, uh, Matt Cooper, to say a few final words from his perspective about uh, EGIF 2020. Matt. Thank you, Anders. Uh, this has obviously been a very big team effort and the last two years of preparation for a physical conference and then over the last three months of uh, preparing for a very unusual event, uh, unprecedented in uh, uh, many uh, conferences history, certainly in Eurographics. And an awful lot of people have been involved in this. Uh, Anders and I have had the role of being the uh, general chair and co-chair, but we also have uh, chairs for the uh, individual conferences, Eurographics and Euroviz. Uh, and I'd like to uh, introduce uh, them and let them have an opportunity to talk a little bit about their experiences with the work and the, uh, the program and the content of the conference. So first I'll go to Ingrid Hotz, who is the uh, general chair for uh, Euroviz. We'd like to talk a little about the conference from your perspective. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for the introduction. And, um, also some last work for me as a uh, responsible for the Euroviz conference. So when we, maybe three months ago, started to realize that the conference will not take place, I was at first really disappointed, but now looking back over the last couple of weeks, I think everything turned out pretty well. And I think, as Anders already said, we really had a very nice week. And I even think that a virtual conference has some advantages in being more inclusive and it was possible for us to reach much more people as uh, for a normal conference all over um, the world. But saying this was a nice conference, for sure this also means that there have been a lot of people involved. And I also would like to thank a couple of people. At first, these are the program chairs, which put a lot of work in uh, putting together a very nice program. These are also the um, session chairs who adapted very well to the new situation and led to the sessions with uh, asking all the questions. And certainly this is also the presenters and the authors who provided the content and all of you as an audience who were asking actively questions and making this really a living conference. And last but not least, even though there's a risk that we are repeating ourselves, I would like to thank everybody here in the division. So who was involved in one or another way to make this Thing working and for me I must say it was really a pleasure to be part of such a team and it was a great experience and this is uh, I say goodbye and to the next time thank you Ingrid um, we also have the chair of Eurographics conference this year Jonas Sommer he's joining us remotely as unfortunately he's uh, at home ill so I'll pass over to Jonas Unger right now. Thank you. Uh, so uh, I can only agree with what Ingrid just said. I, I think that uh, this week has been a success. We have seen a wide variety of different, uh, extremely interesting papers. Uh, and I think this is not only shown by the quality of the best paper award, it was just handed out, but from looking at all the different um, sessions and so on, I, I think that uh, we can say that from our perspective, this has been a success. And especially given where we were two, three months back and also um, uh, because I, I know how much uh, work uh, people in our local organization have spent to make this possible for us in a digital way. So I would, First and foremost, like to thank all the people who have made this possible uh, in terms of reorganizing this event in such a, a 
short time. Uh, there are also, of course, a lot of other people that um, we are very grateful for their um, efforts. Uh, of course, all the program chairs who together um, created this extremely interesting research program for us. So we have Danielle and Ulf, the full paper chairs, Alexandra and Francesco, short paper chairs, Gabriel and Tobias, the poster chairs. So thank you very much. And next slide, please. And we also have the Jeppe and Morten, the tutorial chairs, and Beatrice and Mario, the education papers, and Rafael and Veronica, the state of the art report chairs. And during the conference, uh, we have seen so many interesting sessions and so many interesting papers. I think this has been handled extremely well by all the session chairs. So I would like to thank you. Uh, I realize that um, it's sometimes a bit challenging to just jump in and um, uh, use this um, uh, newly created digital platform and um, take charge over the sessions. But I think this has been uh, done in a very nice way. So thank you very much. And I would, of course, also like to thank all the reviewers and all uh, the authors who have submitted their papers. And uh, finally, all of the attendants uh, that we have seen, all the people who have logged in and watched the streams and so on. So thank you very much. And with that, I would like to say uh, goodbye for this time. And um, um, I hope to see you next year, hopefully live. Thank you. to put this conference together and it's been very hard it's been an awful lot of work and we've learned an awful lot of things along the way the most important thing being of course to not cross the streams because that would be bad uh, the people who've actually done this are alex bock and martin falk who have put in enormous amounts of work in the last few weeks and i'd like to introduce them to tell us a little bit about the experience and how awful it was and uh, to give us a little bit of feedback about uh, how the process has gone this week. So, Martin, Alex. Thank you very much, Anders. And Matt. Matt. And Matt. Um, we will give you some facts which we collected now over the course of the last week, since we have been streaming on YouTube. Most of you will know YouTube collects an awesome large amount of information um and also we have to point out that those following slides will most likely the, be the most outdated slides of the entire conference because we when preparing the slides like one hour ago so they're already outdated so in total we had about 100 live videos one for each sessions we were about close to 40,000 views in total and the total watch time was almost a full year and of those people watching about 10 to 20 percent were watching live and then the rest followed then afterwards um, most likely due to time zone differences and so on so uh, of all of the videos that we uh, that we have streamed throughout the conference here are the the top five views with the uh, uh, with the most amount of views at the moment of course this is not a not a ranking of quality but more of uh, quantity at the moment so at the moment we have uh, the opening and the awards uh, that came out at over 3000 views now which is really fantastic and what we also saw is that uh, particular some of the opening videos for the co-located events got quite the number of views so that that is very very interesting to see that uh, there is such a large um, interest in these co-located events and um, well one of the things i can also say with the opening awards even though we got that many views um, well, unfortunately, our uh, our other songs were immediately copyright claimed by the uh, by the music studio of the original ABBA band, which is probably a very high endorsement of the cover band that we uh, asked to perform those videos. Um, and also on the bottom right, you can see the um, the audience retention for the opening. And uh, there are three particular um, peaks that are appearing. Um, well, the, the obvious one, the large one, is when the other video started. So I would assume that a lot of people that went back to that video and watched it over and over again, I know I did. Um, but then we also have smaller peaks. So in particular of interest, I think, is the one right in the middle. 
that is exactly where the Young Researcher Award was, uh, was awarded. So that I think is also one of those things that a virtual conference really makes makes possible to analyze how how are people interested or in what different things are people interested and uh, that was really interesting to see um, also interesting is um, when we look at the, um, the age distribution of this conference um, so on average or the most dominant age bracket is between 25 and 45 years as you can see clearly and then it clearly falls off to the sides. Another interesting fact is that according to the gathered analytics, um, women were watching the streams on average longer than males. Um, and and that, is all, that is all information that we got from, uh, uh, from YouTube itself. Yes. So it's people that have entered their gender yeah. into their YouTube profile. So we don't have any information. And unfortunately, YouTube only gives us binary uh, gender information as well. Um, considering countries, um, um, the statistics reveal that Germany has the most views for the entire conference, closely followed by United States and Sweden, and then continues with France, United Kingdom, and then we get the long tail. All right, so then uh, and to the last thing that we wanted to say is that uh, we, since we've done the virtual conference for the first time, this time, and everyone was kind of still in the mindset of giving a regular presentation, um, well, we did see a, a few people that uh, broke with these traditional uh, informations, and for that we want to give out some digital honorable mentions. And the first one of those goes to the state-of-the-art report in time-dependent flow topology to Roxana Buczak, who really discovered filters for herself and uh, made the presentation really interesting to watch and uh, um, to follow her along her very many transitions. And the second one uh, goes to Data Comets, done by uh, David Sappho, who really broke with the traditional approach of using a slideshow and uh, was um, basically filming himself on his couch together with his seal of approval to basically put an information on the sides and uh, um, putting up information uh, that normally would have gone on a very static slideshow, but now in 3D space and in a much more immersive way, in a, in a way. Thank you for watching. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Martin. Um, you really have done a fantastic job. It's going to be really interesting to actually analyze this. I think we, there's definitely a paper in this at some point. Uh, I'd now like to introduce uh, the Eurographics president, uh, Oliver Deuys, who is going to uh, give some concluding remarks as we discuss the end of Eurographics and Eurovis 2020. And uh, then we will go on to discuss the future. Over to you, Oliver. Yeah, thank you, Matt. Um... Yeah, also from the Eurographics Association, um, I just can say, and I think I can speak in the name of the whole group of people that are engaged in this association, how grateful and thankful we are, um, how this week uh, went by. I think it was the, the best possible way to, to do a virtual conference and we all learned a lot. We learned what is possible with these uh, virtual formats. And, and even though we regret that I think a lot of uh, personal communication was not possible as we are used to in a normal conference. We learned also what, what is possible and, and I'm sure that um, this kind of digital experience will also shape the future conferences. I think after that year of, of, of Corona, uh, the whole system will be maybe different in the future by mixing maybe formats or whatever. So, even though I, I really think uh, that we can meet in person again next year in Vienna, uh, I think uh, it's also um, important to think about how can we make our uh, normal conferences, um, amend them by digital formats in a way that we can reach more people and uh, get these additional experiences. So that's something I guess that we all learned. Let me thank again the, the team around Anders, uh, as Ingrid and Jonas uh, mentioned, it was only like 12 weeks that they had time to go from uh, normal conference to virtual conference. And in addition to what was already mentioned that they had to prepare in the sense of, of making that virtually possible, there was a lot of work behind the scenes. They had to cope with financial aspects. I mean, a lot of money was devoted to certain things and things had to be canceled and they had to fight with 
many instances with hotels, conference venue, university, and so on to minimize uh, the loss uh, that we will uh, have with this conference. And they did a great job at that. Also for that, we, we as Eurographics are, are very grateful. And of course, um, the Eurographics Association helps the organizers to cover uh, a part of these, these losses. Yeah, um, with that, I, I just, uh, with this kind of, of, of thank you, uh, I want to conclude, but not without uh, um, bringing your attention to something that we found quite sad uh, in the last uh, year. Um, we lost uh, a colleague, and that is uh, Jaroslav Krivanek, a young and very talented uh, member of our community who served in many ways and, and uh, was friend uh, to many, many people in Eurographics. Unfortunately, he died um, unexpected. And let's keep some seconds in memory of him. Yeah, we will remember you um, also in the future. And is that I want to hand back to Matt. Thank you, Oliver. Um, the continuity of this, these conferences, which are now both um, very long lived and very well supported conferences is very important. So as we end one pair of conferences, it's very important that we look forward to the future. So I'd like to introduce uh, a short video announcing next year's Eurographics Conference in 2021.
thank you to Werner and his team. Uh, that looked like a very attractive venue and I'm very much looking forward to uh, the opportunity to go there again next year. And uh, now I'll pass over to next year's organizers of the Eurobiz conference, uh, who've also prepared a, a presentation of uh, their venue for next year's conference. Hello everyone and welcome to the announcement of the Eurovis Conference 2021. Before we start, we want to thank Anders, Matthew, Jonas, Ingrid and Patrick dearly for organizing this year's event. Not only was this the very first joint Eurographics and Eurovis conference, which in itself is a massive undertaking, you also had to face the extraordinary challenge of turning the physical meeting into a virtual one, which could not have been handled better. We very much hope that this will not be necessary next year, such that the Eurovis community can reconvene in 2021 in Switzerland, in the beautiful city of Zurich. Zurich is the largest city of Switzerland. It is famous for not only chocolate, but its lakeside location and the green, densely wooded chain of hills which run through the city from north to south. The Zurich Airport is a central hub of Europe and very well connected to the world, but you can also reach us by train from all the neighboring countries. And Swiss trains, by the way, are very punctual. In the interest of keeping the attendance at the conference high, we highly recommend to take a vacation before or after the conference to really enjoy the countless cultural activities for going hiking, swimming, traveling and to explore the local cuisine. The conference itself is taking place at the University of Zurich, which is located directly in the city centre, in actual walking distance to the lake. The conference dinner will take place at one of the most beautiful locations of Zurich. A train will take us 400 metres up to the mountain, which will give us a spectacular view over the city, over the lake and at the sunset. And this alone should be reason for you to attend next year. To also accommodate the next generation of VIS researchers, we provide a childcare service that you can sign up for in advance. And the University Sports Center will open its doors for some time so that you can go to a gym, play badminton, volleyball and do many, many other things. Sadly, we could not host a pre-party this year. This gives us a little bit more budget to spend and we are going to use it to support sustainability projects and you as the visualization community can help us with this to find out how you can visit us on our website and while you're on the website you can also watch a couple of really nice videos showcasing the city and the venue we are looking forward to welcoming you in zurich stay healthy stay safe and see you next year Fantastic. Another excellent venue. Uh, we can look forward to uh, two superb conferences next year in two beautiful locations in Vienna and in Zurich. And let's hope that they're luckier than us and that they actually get to uh, welcome you all to their physical venues. So with that, I will pass you back to Anders Inneman for some final remarks on the conference. Thanks, Anders. Thank you very much, Matt. Um, it's been said many times uh, during this week uh, there's been a, a lot of amazing comments coming in on the organizational aspects of EGIF 2020 uh, and I must say that as a general chair and uh, head of the organization here I am humbled by the efforts that have gone in by so many people around here that have been working so hard uh, to make this happen so I would like to catch the opportunity to pay a tribute to the amazing efforts that have gone in from the from the North Shipping team in making this happen. So here you go.
And as you can see, uh, just the number of people who have been managing the streams is, is quite a few. It's almost like a Hollywood production in terms of the credits here. So uh, I'm very, very grateful to these people. I'm also very, very grateful for everyone who has contributed, all the participants, all the chairs, all the organizers. Um, of course, we would have liked to be here in, in person and meet all of you, but uh, in view of what's happening in the world, we have to go virtual. And of course, the most important thing is to stay safe. Uh, and this is what we are trying to accomplish with this year's venue. We have come to an end uh, of this meeting and I will now close the conference. And I will do that by killing the stream. So, Thank you all. This is the Google stream. Stay safe. See you next year. <laughs>